Anybody who took up arms or had a hardline attitude towards the British was sent away from the mainland into prisons so that they cannot even infect the people in the inmates in the jail with revolutionary ideas. So had these things, two things, and Mr. Savarkar was uh, uh, accused in the Peter, uh, Pandit Jackson assassination case, which was done by a young man called Anand, Anand uh, Kanhare, they traced the gun back to the same guns that were sent by Mr. Savarkar. So again, he was also sent to Kalapani with a two, two uh, uh, lifetime sentence, which was 50 years. He was supposed to be released in 1960. So after these two things happened, the moderates again took over and it became a process of negotiating the, the freedom or independence of India rather than taking it from them. Well, I like how, you know, articulately you've actually, you know, detailed, uh, you know, uh, out all the history, but we don't really read about it. In our yes. textbooks, I haven't, and as much detail as you're telling, even, I think it's a shame we haven't. Even, even I also read 1857 as a Sepoy mutiny, mm. which in 1907, Mr. Savarkar had written a book, mm. The First War of Independence, 1857, and, but that was not changed. Uh, Mr. Bhagat Singh was in the textbooks as terrorists even till very recently. So, see, the victor writes the history, it is natural, it's what anybody would do. So once the Indian National Congress was selected to form the government in 1947, they rewrote the history in a way which favored the, the, the movement, uh, 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 Indian National Congress movement, and it also seemed that a handful of people in that won us the freedom, which was, I'm not uh, denying their claims to it, I'm not denying their contribution to it. I, in fact, while Mr. Re writing, uh, reading Mr. Savarkar, I read a, a lot about Mr. Gandhi as well, and, uh, and they, were, <coughs> they, they respected each other. They had mutual respect for each other. In fact, the last bail plea for Mr. Savarkar was written on the advice of Mahatma Gandhi. And he said, "Don't. I know you're a very prolific writer, but do not write these long uh, uh, petitions. Just stick to the facts. And there is no emotion involved in law. I stick to the facts and say these, these people have been released. And he wrote uh, these bail pleas. He was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So he wrote these bail pleas, not for himself, but for many, many people. And in the end, he used to write. He was, if, if releasing me is standing in the way of your goodwill and uh, uh, generosity towards the political prisoners, I may be exempted from it. So they, and they both wanted the same thing. They both wanted united, independent or free India, but their paths to it were different. They met three times in their lives, which is well documented, which is a part of my movie, and I put forth uh, the arguments of both. In fact, in this movie, I don't call him Veer. I want people to go and decide for themselves uh, whether he was a Veer or not. Um, so all these things happened. And in fact, Mrs. Indira Gandhi the, uh, wrote after his death that he was brave. His contribution to the Indian uh, uh, freedom mm -hmm. struggle was immense. And his contribution in the nation formation was great. And she issued a stamp and uh, donated to the also. Savarkar uh, a Smarak in, in Bombay. So there are many, many things that have happened, but I think just vilifying him for a political discourse to attack him because he was the, f he's the father of Hindutva is just demeaning a lot of the other efforts. And I'll come to Hindutva, but uh, you know, you spoke about the word Veer and you mentioned Indira Gandhi. Now there are people from his family uh, and who claim to be, you know, following Gandhi's ideals. They say that they call Veer Savarkar Mafi Veer. Now he's a mafi veer, and uh, there are also all sorts of uh, you know insults that are actually blurted out against veer Savarkar in the public discourse. What do you have to say to these people? I think uh, it is done to attack the opposition. It's more polit politically motivated, and I think mafi unko mangni chahiye. Ek bar they should listen to uh, or listen to and learn from their dadi what was going on, uh, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, Mafi Nama, jaise usko bolte hai, was a bail petition, which is uh, uh, a part of the legal system. Whenever you are incarcerated, it's a right for you to file in bail petitions. He was 27 years old when he was sentenced for 50 years. Here is a man who's an ideologue, who's an opinion maker, who's an influencer, who has so much to give politically, revolutionarily, and, uh, and, and culturally and, and societally to, 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 to people 
and um, he felt he was being wasted there and he used Sam Dam Dandabhed to try and get out of there and get back into it. Unfortunately, when he was released from Kalapani uh, uh, after 11 years, he was three years in prison in the mainland and when he was finally released from prison, he was put under house arrest in Ratnagiri mm -hmm. and he had three conditions on him. He cannot take part in any political activity, he cannot take part in any religious activity and he cannot take part in any revolutionary activities. So that was the thing he, and it was only for five years. And then five years later, they extended it again because yeah. they found out that he's been writing articles under somebody else's name and his brother has been publishing it. Then it was really increased five years more uh, uh, when he raised the black flag when they uh, hung Mr. Bhagat Singh. And then subsequently, so I want to ask just one question. If he was such a mafi veer, so to speak, an apologist of the British and a stooge of the British, why did they keep him in captivity for 27 years of his life? Why did they not let him go? So they knew that this man was very dangerous because of his power of convincing people and they kept him under wraps and he was watched by the British CID since he was 17 years old till, uh, till independence and post that by, by the coming governments. You also mentioned about uh, in the movie and I've seen in a couple of interviews where you've spoken yeah. about that people from the Congress were not uh, actually being punished in the Kalapani. It is a fact, we have seen the records of the uh, Kalapani prison and there is no one from the Congress who was uh, uh, taken up, who was, he was sent to Kalapani because they believed in non-violence. Well, actually Gandhiji believed in non-violence. Um, Congress, uh, Indian National Congress at that time and subsequently has used that as a tokenism because post Bapu's assassination, Vinayak Sa Damodar Savarkar's younger brother, Narayan Rao Savarkar, who was a doctor, was mob lynched mm -hmm. in Girgaon Chopati in Bombay when the, uh, uh, when the Chitpavan Brahmin massacre happened in, uh, in Maharashtra. And subsequently what happened after 1984. So we have to separate Mahatma Gandhi, who was the apostle of non-violence, and from the political side of the Indian National Congress. And since you mentioned Kalapani, you also went there, you visited Kalapani, you've seen oh, those a, pictures, and you know, there example. were human rights violations that took place. Nobody talks about it. You know, there are people of the same uh, you know, fraternity or the same group that talks about human rights of Kasab or a Yaqub Memon, but they, nobody mentions about even what V. Savarkar had to go through before actually labeling him as a mafia or anything? Yeah, so, so there was a big, uh, uh, there was not just we, Mr. Savarkar, there were many, many, many mm. prisoners over there and many of them wrote pleas and many of their pleas were written by Mr. Savarkar. Mm. Well, I visited there and it is an inhuman place where you know, we were, re if you want to see an example of colonial brutality, mm. which is kind of fading from our memory, one should, you, one should visit Kalapani, uh, with the cellular jail over there, which was in fact, it had seven wings and all the cells faced the same way. You cannot look at anybody else while you are in there. They were made to work on kolu to extract oil from the coconuts and make ropes out of coconut husks. Uh, it was a grueling work, they were hardly given anything to, 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 to eat and they were, the sanitation was a big problem that they also faced. They had to sometimes use, a lot of times use their cells to defecate and all that and live in that and eat in that and it was a horrible example of inhuman treatment. They wanted to break the spirit of these bomb golawalas as they called them and uh, it had seven wings, two were destroyed by the Japanese to make bunkers out of the stones that were used to make the prison. It was a prison made by prisoners, mm. by, uh, by the British, made by prisoners for themselves. Mm. And then later two wings were destroyed under the Nehru government and they were going to destroy the jail completely mm. till, the, till, the, the, till, the, till the descendants of the people who went to prison over there uh, 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 interjected and appealed and made a public appeal and, and it was stopped. Otherwise we would not have had a cellular jail today to have a look at the atrocities that these people suffered. In fact, uh, you know, he, he also mentioned about how uh, the essence of Hindutva, a very famous book, was written by him in jail. Later on, he also went on to write, uh, Who is a Hindu? He, uh, we also see glimpses in the trailer how he was also uh, against, uh, you know, forced conversions were taking place uh, in the jails. So he actually fought against many social evils and the uh, many evils of colonial rule. Yes, he was, uh, first of all, he was against the caste system. Yes. He, 
he gandhi ji did make a song on patpati tapavan yes. but gandhi ji believed in the varan vyavastha mm. as a part of our mm. culture but mr savarkar made the first patpati tapavan mandir mm. actually uh, 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 and uh, which was for all people all human beings regardless of caste mm. and anything else and when he went to kalapani till then even the country and mr savarkar's attitude towards anybody else was as an indian mm. but when he went there there were pathan borders that persecuted these mm. these prisoners especially the hindu prisoners and they would convert them uh, by give on a roti for a roti or for uh, letting go of the of the kolu punishment for the day and then after that khilafat happened which was basically caliphate hmm. uh, for the caliphate where people two leaders ali brothers from rai bareilly started this movement to inc- uh, to reinstate the powers of the caliph uh, of the ottoman empire after the british took it away mm-hmm. after the victory in the first world war no other country in the world or muslims in the world protested against it but it was indians and a caliphate movement was started which was non cooperation mm-hmm. because a lot of the posts in the civil services and police were held by the uh, muslim community and uh and then they mr gandhi to involve the uh, muslims in the democracy uh, asked by indian national congress he became the president and called it the khilafat movement and uh, because the, a lot of muslim leaders at that time believed that when the british came it was a sultanate when they leave it should be a sultanate mm. so to counter that he wrote coin this uh, all unifying political ideology of hindutva mm. which is that agar हिंदुत्व एक राज राजनैतिक भूगोलिक सांस्कृतिक इतिहास है किसी धर्म का नहीं जो हिंद को माने अपना माने वो हिंदू है एंड ही डिस्क्राइब इट एज अ जियो पोलिटिकल आइडियोलॉजी फ्रॉम द सिंधु रिवर to uh, from the indus river to the to the sea anybody who inhabits this land and calls it the land of their ancestors is a hindu anybody who calls this this their motherland land of their civilization is a hindu and he put in this last clause because there was a there was a, a fear of a pan islamic attack from the northwest frontier province mm-hmm. and lot of, most of the people in the british army at that frontier were muslims mm-hmm. so he felt will they fight for the british for the country or for the for, for religion so he put in the last clause which is the contentious clause that this should be a land of your faith as well mm-hmm. and the, your karam bhumi so to speak who ever adhered to that and put country before religion or anything else was a hindu by geographical definition and uh, 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 that was the philosophy of hindutva which was formed as a uh, all encompassing philosophy for our independence so you mentioned and in fact he was also uh, you know his slogan was one caste one religion one god yes, one he, india yes he believed in intercaste yes. marriages he felt that in four generations people will forget what caste they are and only remain hindu uh, he was he was really he was a very scientific man he loved movies mr gandhi did not like movies in fact all these nirmata nirdeshak and all these titles that come in hindi movies now were started by mr savarkar he translated them he was a very scientific man he was a very modern man in that sense uh, uh, in the early 1900s he was this big romantic revolutionary that everybody idolized to and then he was also a, 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 a result of the circumstances at that time to look at anybody whether it is mahatma gandhi mr savarkar or anybody else uh, at that time from the prism of today is being unfair to them we should first see their circumstances that existed at that time and then take our take make our decisions and you know uh in the west americans they they give us they they've been spreading this propaganda with their movies that they are the good guys they're the most powerful guys they don't tell you about vietnam and afghanistan mm-hmm. how they spent trillions of dollars to replace taliban with taliban over 20 years and killing so many people even the aliens they only land in america <laughs> but in our own country mm-hmm. we are shooting down our heroes we are not uh, uh, we are not even talking about them mm-hmm. so i think it's about time uh, the our people are not- apni naam se we talk about sabarkar yes Still. see the whole world has an image of our non violence and mahatma gandhi galvanized the 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 common man in india with his lathi symbolism and his dhoti and put everybody who walked with him as a part of the freedom struggle that was a great galvanizing he did and he played a most important part in our in our in our freedom struggle and he's also our thing of non violence uh, uh, to the world but non violence would that mean that we don't have any defense also 
Mm. Mr. Nehru also believed that we don't need an army. And after the 1962 humiliation in the China war, Mr. K. M. Karia, General K. N. Kariyappa, the then field marshal, had said that uh, the country would have been better off had they listened to Mr. Savarkar and his militarization. Uh, um, so he always believed that we should arm ourselves. It's, look at Ukraine. Hmm. They're the biggest nuclear arsenal, but they gave it up. Now they're being beaten from both sides. So, in uh, our position in the world today is, of course, our diplomacy is great, our economy is great, we've got a large number of young people, but we are also armed with very modern weapons, and we make our own weapons, which was the dream of Mr. Savarkar, that we should arm ourselves, and only then we will have say in the world, and then we can talk about non-violence and peace. You think it's, uh, the things are changing in the past few years that you are now able to make you know, films on such topics and such figures? I, I don't know. Uh, movies are a, a based on economics as well. Uh, although in this movie, uh, I had, uh, I only got impressed by Mr. Savarkar. And I don't know if they had been allowed a movie earlier or not, but I was able to make it. And I had very dif a lot of difficulties doing it. It took me two years to make this movie. And I put my tan man dhan, so to speak, even my own money, my house and everything to bring it to the fore. And it is, I wanted to release it on Independence Day, actually. Okay. That would have been the biggest day for uh, him. And then 26 January. Uh. But it just did not work out for the movies. A uh, lot of problems were going on. And finally, we were coming one day before uh, Shahidi Day, Divas, mm. which is 22nd of March. And I don't know, maybe Mr. Savarkar wished it to be released around when all parties are campaigning for in, in politics so that his 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 well, word could get out to more people. Well, of course, Hindutva has been dominating, dominating you know, all the campaigning. There is, uh, you know, talks well, about one nation and, you know, one god like Savarkar did. You know, there is a call for UCC also. There are steps taken towards that. He, was, he, was, very, he was very miffed that the, that the Indian National Congress to appease mis, uh, the Muslims at that time to join the democratic movement through Khilafat, then made uh, separate electorates for them and gave them disproportionate percent, uh, percentage of seats in the, in the provisional government at that time. And he felt that nobody should be given more right the other, than the other mm -hmm. citizen and no, there should be no discrimination in religion, there should be no discrimination in all that everybody should have that power, that one vote should count equally for everyone. What does Savarkar mean to you after doing this role? What have you taken from him? A revolutionary in thought, in action and in writing. And are you uh, prepared for, uh, you know, what kind of reaction will come in? Because, you know, people will be quick to jump on and, you know, label you as, you know, there is some sort of leanings and political leanings. That's why you made this <coughs> movie. I might have a, any political re leanings as a mm. citizen and I have a right to, mm. right? But artist and the artwork are two different things. Mm. Artist is a larger uh, uh, entity and there's a particular artwork mm. that he's created. Mm. I just want to ask this question. Had I made a movie on Mr. Nehru and I would have made it with the same amount of dedication, what would you label me then? Mm. Uh, it is a movie and I've made a thriller of a movie. Mm. Uh, I've treated it very modern, in a modern way, not the so-called state biopics that we have been making in our country with the whitewashing. I've created a lot of drama, a lot of thrill mm. and a, and 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 uh, I've heightened the, the, the imagery mm. with a lot of camera work so that it looks larger than life and people can see uh, in hindsight what had really happened in a very engaging way. I'm giving no lectures on Desh Bhakti or the freedom struggle. I'm just telling the story as it is. And you go home and decide whether he was Veer and what his contribution was or was not. And finally, Randeep, uh, acting, writing, directing, you've done many hats now. What about politics? <laughs> uh, politics is a career in itself and the way I sincerely ap uh, approach anything that I do in my life that would be uh, uh, putting a big hurdle in my career as in, in cinema and I have a lot more to give in terms of cinema and I'm, I'm really concentrating on that and I'm really looking forward to how the public reacts to my directorial debut, uh, not just the acting that I've done. And uh, I'm shifting to acting again, but I'm sticking to your politics, the part of politics. Will you be open to in future, if not? Because there have been talks, because there are elections I, I, going on. I, I think You're from Haryana. I, I, there are talks think, of maybe you might get a ticket. You I come from Rohtak. I think it's a bit early for me to jump into politics. Mm. As I said, it's a career in itself. You're open to it sometimes in future. Yeah, in the future, why not?
Hmm. Why not? I mean, it's a it's 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 a great way to serve the people and be the part of the legislature assembly. Right. All right. Uh, but thank you so much. It was so such an enlightening and insightful conversation to have with you. It's thank so you. great to have you know actors from the mainstream talk talk about you know our history so well. And all the best, Randeep. Thank and uh, to our audience, of course, if you want to say anything, your movie is going to release in just. Uh, please, please go and watch the movie on 22nd of March in a cinema near you, and see an untold part of history, and uh, then judge for yourself uh, um, about the comparison between violence and non-violent contribution to our thing, and get entertained and engaged, and uh, go home and think about it. Thank you so much, Randeep. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. QSMTHE, the world's foremost university rankings organizations have ranked Amity amongst the top 3% universities globally, making it among the very few Indian universities to be included in both rankings. Yet another top ranking for Amity University. All the players that are in the squad, that is big because in the program, you don't have the program here, that today, thank you boss, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much. Because people say, oh, big squad, but do you see the names? Under 18, under 18, under 18, under 18, under 21, under 21, under 21. And sometimes people get confused and say, no, big squad. Do you know why we use too many and we put here? Because we use these guys. Few minutes in Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup, or in Premier League. Because of the circumstance. It's only... No? Sometimes people want to talk like, uh, want to be nice. Uh, come on. We have, yes. Because we are not going to hide nothing. Big squad is long because we had too many insured players on the first team. And we should use all the, the kids that are helping us. Headlines uh, this morning, sensational double murder in UP's Badao Salon, uh, salon owner who kills two children playing on terrace, later accused killed in a retaliatory fight, uh, firing by the cops. Battle for 2024 draws close. Uh, EC now issues notification for first phase of the Lok Sabha elections. TMC BJP workers clash in Bengal's Kuch Behar cops among those injured in the clashes. Lokpal orders CBI probe into charges against Maua Moitra in clash for query scandal. Arvind Kejriwal moves Delhi High Court challenges ED summons in Lego Kate Probe on 21st of March.
Allahabad High Court to hear plea uh, challenging the maintainability of the suit seeking removal of removal of Shahi Eidgah Mosque in Mathura. A very good morning, viewers. Uh, it is uh, 10 a.m. Uh, we are live and breaking. I'm Samiksha Srivastava. Our top focus this hour is on a murder case that's been reported from UP's uh, Badaw. In fact, in the latest, Republic has accessed uh, the FIR that's been filed in this case. Uh, we understand that one accused has been shot dead uh, in a retaliatory firing by the UP police, whereas one accused, uh, the accomplice, uh, so as to say, is still on the run. So tracking closely all the updates coming in, uh, on this uh, case that's been reported from UP's Badaun, where two minors were hacked to death by a salon worker. Uh, in fact, uh, a statement that's come in from the deceased's uh, kin. Listen in to that statement. तो था पकड़ लिया पुलिस ने पकड़ा था तो पुलिस से भी मतलब जैसे ये छोटा है ये भागा है वो जो जाने बात ही है बाकी कोई मतलब ऐसा कुछ नहीं था मतलब दो थे वो दोनों भाई नहीं व्यवहार तो देखिए हमने हम रहते नहीं थे यहाँ हम मैं तो बाहर रहता हूँ बस आना जाना बाल कटवाए जाइए व्यवहार तो हमारा क्या करना मुझे इससे कुछ भी नहीं हुई हमारी कभी पता नहीं है क्यों मैटर क्या बना इसका या किसी ने मैटर बनवाया है पता नहीं उसके हाथ का ऐसा काम करवाया की हम ऐसा करें इस चीज तो हमें भी पता नहीं चल रहा है अंदर की तरफ चलते हैं और देखते हैं क्या है परिजनों का इस समय रोकर बुरा हाल है बेसुध स्थिति में परिजन दिखाई दे रहे हैं औरतें आज जो परिवार की हैं जो महिलाएं हैं परिवार की ये दादी हैं दादी इनकी यहाँ मौजूद हैं कल के दिन दादी के बयान से ही चीज़ें स्पष्ट होती दिखाई दी दादी यहाँ पर जो है बच्चों की वो बैठी हुई दिखाई दे रही है बेसुद दिखाई दे रही हैं जैसी विपत्ति आई है दो छोटे छोटे बच्चे घर के जिस तरीके से हत्या की गई ना केवल हत्या की गई जिस जघन्य तरीके से हत्या की गई अम्मा उसको जान रही थी लड़के मैंने नहीं देखा जी बच्चे लोग जानते थे मैं ना ही था मैं क्या जानती बच्चे बाल कटवा देते बहू जे जानती थी जे जानती मैं ना जानती थी कोई झगड़ा कुछ बात कोई ना झगड़ा कुछ नहीं था घर के लोग तो जान भी नहीं रहे बस वो आया और ये घटना आप तब कहाँ पे थे घर में कोई बड़ा तो अंदर थी बच्चे ने किस बच्चे ने आके बताया बहू से जो कुछ बात हुई इनसे हुई और जब काटा है बच्चा तो मेरा बीच वाला आया अगर अम्मा देखो तो ऊपर हाथ काट दिया दादा का उसे और इसका भी मुंह पकड़ लिया मारने को के दे तो भाग आया वहां से वो अब वो फिसल गया खून से तभी वो हट गया गिर गया जे भाग आया ना जे भी काट देता मेरे बेटे को अरे दिया मैं किधर की ना रही तो सुना नहीं ना ही बाल काटता था ना ही था इसलिए जानकारी थी एक ही था ना कि दो दो थे दो थे दो भागते हुए देखा दो को एक ऊपर था एक नीचे था बाइक से हाँ देखिये ये बच्चों की माँ है और जो स्थिति हुई है जो रो रही है हाँ, जो रो रही है वो इनकी मम्मी बच्चे की माँ है और ये जो घटना घटी है अब ऐसी स्थिति में जिस तरीके से परिजनों के ऊपर ये मुसीबत पड़ी है हत्या और इस तरीके से जघन्य तरीके से की गई हत्या बच्चों की जो दादी हैं वो सारी बातें बता रही हैं रोते बिलकते परिजन अब परिवार के तमाम लोग जो ये जानकारी पा रहे हैं सुन रहे हैं भागे भागे आ रहे हैं जैसी ये घटना घटी है हत्या और हत्या से बढ़कर जिस तरीके से हत्या हैरान करने वाला ये पूरा मामला है पुलिस ने इसमें एक्शन भी किया है जो मुख्य आरोपी है उसका एनकाउंटर भी किया जा चुका है All right, let's uh, go across to Akhil, who's joining us live from the crime location in Badayu. Uh, Akhil, uh, this is uh, Gori, to say the least. Once again, take us to the sequence of events. Uh, when did this happen, and anything known so far about the motive uh, behind this murder? Well, we are just standing right now at the very spot. This is the crime scene. This is the crime spot where that uh, unfortunate uh, gory incident took place uh, last evening. And here you can see this is the terrace where I'm right now standing. And this area has been sealed. And here you can see the blood stains over here. I would like to request my Vijay to zoom in and show you the visual of this entire area. Here you can see the blood stains mark on this lock as well uh, and, and the bolt area as well. And, 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 and there you can see the dark stains of blood at this point uh, on this very gate itself. So this area has been sealed.
revealed by the police uh, department and they have been saying that uh, right now the matter is uh, uh, still investigation is on so right now we are not allowed to go inside that premises but i can show you the visual of this uh, entire uh, area there you can see on this uh, staircase uh, here is the stairs uh, here you can see the visuals of the blood marks blood stains over here and some of the family members relatives neighbors uh, have come over over here to console the deceased family member um, uh, family members and and their loved ones and their uh, and their kids uh, right now i can uh, i'm joined by some of the family members acha mujhe ye bataiye ke kal shaam mein jo ye ghatna hui iske piche ka maqsad kya tha kyun aaya tha kuch bhi nahi pata chal raha hai maqsad ka to kya maqsad hai क्यों आया इतनी बड़ी घटना हो गई दो बच्चों को दो नाबालिग बच्चों को जान से मार दिया गया काट दिया गया तो नहीं समझ में आ रही कि कारण क्या है बच्चों को मारा है इनका तो कोई कसूर भी नहीं था क्या कुछ पहले से कुछ दुश्मनी थी नहीं थी कुछ बात थी तो लड़ाई झगड़ा भी नहीं हुआ है कुछ अच्छा जब अक्यूज जो है वो घर में इंटर करता है तो कहता है की मुझे चाय पीनी है सर में दर्द हो रहा है आता है तो पैसा कर्ज के तौर पर मांगता है की मुझे पाँच हजार की जरूरत है पहले पैसा मांगता है फिर चाय का बहाना बनाता है फिर बच्चों को जो है वो इसी रास्ते से छत की तरफ ले जाता है है ना तो क्या हुआ पूरा पूरी 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 दास्तान मुझे नहीं नहीं पता मैं पड़ोस पड़ोस में ही रहती हूं। अच्छा यू कैन सी द विजुअल ऑफ दिस पार्लर दिस पार्लर इज बीइंग रन बाय द डिसीज्ड मदर so the so the deceased mother runs this parlor and the accused who have run uh, and the accused they have come from this side this very place uh, towards the uh, uh, towards the terrace and they uh, uh, they moved uh, from this side to uh, to the terrace with uh, with uh, both the victims uh, ayush uh, and his brother ahan uh, ahan pratap and then he tried to call his uh, uh, another brother who who's been identified as piyush uh, and he, he tried to take along with uh, 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 with a Piyush, but Piyush denied, and Piyush, uh, when saw his brothers uh, screaming, then he just uh, stand over here and just called his mother that uh, see what has happened over there, and then his mother bolted the door from inside, and so that uh, the accused uh, Javed got uh, stuck in uh, in this building very itself. Here I'm just moving towards uh, the down stairs towards the uh, ground floor, and you can see the entire visuals of uh, this incident over here. The family members, the the victims. mother is sitting over over there the uh, apart from that uh, if if you can see the the ground visual there are like uh, some kit, uh, kit and kins of uh, the victims uh, who are sitting over there and we have been trying to speak to some senior officials and they are saying that right now what was the actual intent and motive of the accused that is not clear because the uh, the incident is uh, the investigation is in very preliminary stage and right now we cannot comment uh, on this uh, uh, in, uh, on this uh, what exactly led to the entire uh, gory incident back to you wait right. Uh, Akhil, uh, thank you for the moment. So uh, closely, of course, tracking all those updates on this big story from UP's Badayun. For now, known uh, it remains to be seen what exactly was the murder. But uh, two minors were hacked to death by uh, this salon worker. Uh, in fact, for no on that note, we shift focus to more news coming in. This one from the state. Of Odisha Congress uh, MLA Adhiraj uh, Mohan Panigrahi has resigned from all positions including primary membership of the party so yet another defection from the congress uh, this is congress MLA from Odisha Adhi Adhiraj Mohan who has tendered uh, resignation from all positions including the primary membership of the party So this is uh, yet another setback for the Congress. Uh, this one uh, in the state of Odisha, where uh, MLA Adhiraj Mohan has tendered resignation from all positions, including primary membership of the party. Uh, it remains to be seen uh, whether uh, it is uh, in relation to ticket allotment or not, and uh, if he is going to switch to another party, and which party is he going to be uh, contesting from, if at all.
All right, with that, moving on to news uh, coming in from across the globe amid speculations over Kate Middleton's uh, health and marriage. A video footage that has now surfaced of uh, the princess and Prince William at a farm shop in Windsor. While uh, their, uh, the veracity of the video is yet to be ascertained, there is no official command uh, comment, beg your pardon, released uh, regarding the latest round of conspiracy theories doing the rounds. As mystery spirals over Princess Kate Middleton's health and whereabouts, the 42-year-old Princess of Wales has reportedly been cited for the first time in public since undergoing a medical procedure. In a clip reportedly filmed by a member of UK public, Kate Middleton is seen with Prince William at a farm shop in Windsor. The royal couple is seen wearing casual clothing while walking outside with shopping bags. While there are talks that woman seen in the snapshot looks nothing like Kate, this is the first video footage that has been released since her December Christmas festivities. The Princess of Wales has taken a break from royal duties to recover from an abdominal surgery undertaken in January and plans to return to work around the Easter period. While the video has sparked conspiracy theories, the mystery remains unresolved if that is really Kate Middleton and is that video recent or old? Bureau Report, Republic TV. And uh, shifting focus to back home, uh, news coming in in relation to the snake venom smuggling case where two more arrests have been made. The accused Ishwar and Vinay have been taken into custody by the Noida police. So, a total of seven arrests that have been made in connection with the snake venom smuggling case. Uh, note that uh, note that uh, Elvis Yadav has already been taken into custody and this is uh, yet another arrest, rather two more arrests uh, that have been made. Uh, a total of seven arrests so far in case uh, of the sna snake venom, venom smuggling bit. So, with the latest arrest, the total number of individuals apprehended in connection with the snake venom smuggling case has mounted to seven. The investigation into the matter has uh, been on, with authorities likely to uncover more details as they proceed with their inquiries. So, after Elvish uh, Yadav uh, reportedly admitting to having supplied venom, more arrests that have been made in connection with the case, uh, a total of seven arrests have been made in connection with the snake venom smuggling case. All right, so this is, uh, of course, uh, the latest that is coming in in the snake venom case where two more arrests have been made by the Noida police. Uh, note this uh, in the backdrop of uh, Elvis, who's already in custody of the cops. Uh, reportedly, he's even admitted to having supplied snake venoms. And in the latest, we understand that a total of seven arrests have been made so far and um, more arrests are to be made in the coming days as a probe widens in this whole case. And here's a look at news and brief uh, from across the globe, uh, election-related updates that we are tracking. Uh, the DMK is all set to release its Lok Sabha election manifesto and candidates list today at party headquarters. Uh, note that the DMK and Congress uh, seat sharing has been finalised in Tamil Nadu with DMK contesting on 22 seats and Congress to contest on 9 seats in the state. Meanwhile, Congress uh, leader Manikam Tagore exuded confidence in the upcoming Lok Sabha poll, saying that the Indy bloc will register victory on 300 seats in the upcoming general elections, adding that Congress party is well prepared for the elections. In news from Kuch Behar, where clashes broke out between the TMC and the BJP supporters in the state, this hours after a public meet was addressed by Union Minister of State for Home Nitish Pramanik uh, that got over and a rally led by State Minister uh, was to begin at the same location. In news from UP's Badayu, where two children were hacked to death uh, by a barber, where the accused was later killed in a retaliatory firing by the cops.
दो बच्चों की निशंस हत्या हुई और इस हत्या की सूचना पर पुलिस भी मौके पहुंची और वहां पर से अपराधी का पीछा किया गया बाद में अपराधी जो था उसने पुलिस पर फायर करने के प्रयास किए फायर किया पुलिस ने अपने बचाव में फायर किया इस एक्सचेंज ऑफ फायर में उसकी जो है अपराधी की मौके मौत हो गई और उसको जो है पुलिस आगे पर कार्रवाई कर रही Prime Minister Modi meanwhile is set to visit uh, Bhutan from the 21st to the 22nd of March. Uh, the visit is in keeping with the tradition of regular high level exchanges between India and Bhutan and the government's emphasis on its neighborhood first policy. The Directorate of Revenue uh, Intelligence has seized uh, heroin worth uh, 100 crore rupees uh, in even apprehended two female passengers of Indonesia and Thailand nationality who had come from Ethiopia with the aim of smuggling cocaine into India. All right, uh, in more election related updates uh, that are just coming in this one from the state of Tamil Nadu where the AI ADNK has released its first list of 16 candidates for the Lok Sabha polls. Uh, we will try and get more details on uh, this list, but this is the first list uh, that's been released by the AI ADMK. Uh, this on the same day when the DMK is also set to release its uh, election manifesto as well as its candidates uh, list in the state of Tamil Nadu. So it is, uh, of course, uh, a tough contest being seen in the south, south particularly in Tamil Nadu, where. Uh, the DMK and the Congress have uh, finalized their seat sharing uh, pact. Meanwhile, the AIA DMK has also released its first list of candidates, uh, 16 candidates uh, for the Lok Sabha polls. We will just uh, try and get more details on uh, the names of these 16 candidates who featured uh, in this uh, candidates list of the AIA DMK. Uh, closely tracking all those election related updates so for now heading into a very short break lokpal order cbi probe into charges against mahua moitra and cash for query scandal also arvin kejriwal moves delhi high court challenges ed summons in liquor gate probe on the 21st I am very very happy to announce that Neva Bopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with
Alright, here's a look at top stories in brief from across the globe on holding talks with the US President Joe Biden. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu made it clear that Rafa ground operation is crucial to destroy Hamas terror group, uh, reiterating that Israeli defense forces will go ahead with the operation in Rafa border. Canada to stop uh, future arms exports uh, to Israel after Canada's uh, parliament passed a non-binding motion on the issue. The motion was part of resolve uh, to resolve the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin uh, warned that if Vladimir Putin is successful in Ukraine, he will not stop there. Uh, adding that Ukraine can stop Putin if US stands with Ukraine and provides the weapons that it needs. As battle for the US elections draws uh, close, uh, Donald Trump uh, won the Republican presidential primary in Illinois. U.S. President Joe Biden won the Democratic presidential primary in uh, Illinois as uh, he gears up for a rematch with Donald Trump. Chinese uh, Foreign Minister uh, held a meet with Australian counterpart in Australia to discuss trade restrictions, adding that both countries have been ready to resolve issues with a more positive attitude as the relationship improved. North Korea's uh, leader Kim Jong-un uh, was, was seen overseeing a test of an intermediate-range hypersonic missile. Alright, uh, moving on to more news break coming in this one in relation uh, to the CA. It's a big decision that's been made by the BJP ruled uh, Rajasthan government. In the CA matter, we understand that the Rajasthan government has now decided to withdraw petition uh, in the Supreme Court that's been filed against the CAA. So, a petition that was earlier filed against CA in the top court will now, been, will now be withdrawn by the Rajasthan government. Uh, note that it was uh, Ashok Gilot's regime that had filed a petition in the top court against the CAA but the current uh, Bhajan Lal Sharma government uh, applied in the Supreme Court to withdraw the petition uh, making it clear that the Rajasthan government will not oppose CAA in the top court. So, it's uh, Rajasthan government uh, making it clear uh, that its position in CAA will not change in fact uh, that it will not oppose the CA in the top court. All right, let's uh, go across to Amardeep who's joining us live from Jaipur. Amardeep, good morning. Uh, we understand that the CA was filed uh, in the top court by Ashok Gilot government. Take us to the details of this plea one and uh, the decision that's now been taken by the Rajasthan government to withdraw the earlier plea. वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग समीक्षा सी के मामले में राजस्थान सरकार का बड़ा फैसला है क्योंकि तत्कालीन सरकार जो थी अशोक गहलोत सरकार राजस्थान में उसने सी के खिलाफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट में याचिका दाखिल की थी और उसी याचिका को वापस लेने का काम किया है राजस्थान सरकार ने कि जो कि भजन लाल सरकार है उसने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में वो जो याचिका थी उसको वापस लिया है राजस्थान सरकार के एडिशनल एडवोकेट जनरल श्री मंगल शर्मा ने दाखिल याचिका को वापस लेने के लिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट में अर्जी दी थी तो यानी कि एक बहुत बड़ा रेप्रोमेंट ये राजस्थान की तरफ से देखा जा सकता है कि सी को लेकर के जिस तरीके से तत्कालीन सरकार जो राजस्थान में गहलोत सरकार थी उसने सीए के खिलाफ एक अर्जी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में दी थी कि सीए राजस्थान में लागू नहीं होना चाहिए इसके बाद अब जो भजन लाल सरकार है उसने अब वो याचिका जो है वापस ली है तो एक कह सकते हैं कि सीए को लेकर के एक जो माहौल राजस्थान में न सिर्फ देश में बल्कि पूरे राजस्थान में भी था तो उसको लेकर के अब भजन लाल सरकार ने पॉजिटिव रिस्पॉन्स दिखाया है राइट right. 
Yes, uh, Amardeep also once again take us uh, through the details of this plea for the viewers also joining in. Uh, this uh, plea, the primary object, uh, objection that was earlier raised by Ashok Gilad government in the top court. देखिए टॉप कोर्ट में सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जब ये सी के खिलाफ मामला गया था उस वक्त जिस तरीके से केंद्र सरकार ने सी लागू करने की बात की थी लेकिन सी की नोटिफिकेशन नहीं आई थी उससे पहले असम में तैयारी हो चुकी थी और उसके उससे पहले उत्तराखंड में ये सारी तैयारी हो गई थी उसको भापते हुए और चुनावी माहौल में वोट बैंक का फ़ायदा लेने के लिए अशोक गहलोत सरकार ने ये जो सी के खिलाफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट में याचिका दी थी क्योंकि वोट बैंक का उनको शायद जो इलेक्शन था विधानसभा इलेक्शन उसमें फ़ायदा मिलता लेकिन सरकार यहाँ जो थी सत्ता में नहीं पहुँची लिहाजा भजन सरकार जब सत्ता में भरोसा जताया लो, लोगों के साथ में तो सीए के रिस्पांस को देखते हुए भजनलाल सरकार ने राजस्थान की जो याचिका पहले से पड़ी हुई थी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में उसको वापस लेने का काम किया है तो कह सकते हैं कि तत्कालीन सरकार भले ही अशोक गहलोत की थी उन्होंने आ, आ, किस माइंडसेट के साथ में इस याचिका को लगा याचिका को लगाया था सुप्रीम कोर्ट में वो अब सबको समझ में आने लगा है क्योंकि सुप्रीम कोर्ट में किस वजह से वो याचिका लगी थी ये एक नेरेटिव सेट करने की कोशिश की गई थी उस वोट बैंक पर जो वोट बैंक शायद कांग्रेस का होता था या उस माइंडसेट को सपोर्ट करता था तो कहीं ना कहीं जिस माइंडसेट के साथ में वो याचिका दाखिल की गई थी उसी माइंडसेट के साथ में वापस भी ले ली गई है Right, Amardeep. Uh, thank you for the moments. Of course, Amardeep, tracking all the latest from the state of Rajasthan. Uh, CA petition that will now be withdrawn by the Rajasthan government in the top. And for now, here's a look at top stories in brief from across the country. The DMK is all set. Uh, the DMK has released its Lok Sabha election manifesto and candidates list uh, at the party headquarters. Meanwhile, Congress leader Manikam Tagore exuded confidence uh, for the upcoming Lok Sabha poll, saying that the Indi Bloc will register victory on 300 seats in the upcoming polls. Clashes broke out between the TMC and the BJP supporters in West Bengal's Kooch Behar late last evening. This hours after a public meet was addressed by Union Minister of State for Home uh, Nitish Pramanik uh, that got over and a rally was said to be held. that would uh, that was to be held by state minister udayan guha in up's badaun two children uh, were killed uh, by a barber the accused was later killed in a police encounter This is Republic Diva Bupa Studio your one stop for all the breaking news updates and I am Nikita Sahai And uh, here's a look at the top headlines at half past 10 sensational double murder case in UP's Badayu Silo owner kills two children uh, accused later killed in retaliatory firing by the cops As battle news for the 2024 general elections EC issues notification for the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections. TMC BJP workers clash in Bengal's Kooch Behar cops among those injured in the clash. Lokpal orders CBI probe into charges against Mahua Moitra in cash for query scandal. Arvind Kejriwal moves Delhi High Court challenges ED summons in liquor gate probe on 21st of March. Allahabad High Court to hear plea challenging maintainability of the suit seeking removal of Shahi Idga Mosque in Mathura. Very good morning.
morning it is uh, half past 10 uh, we are closely tracking all election related updates in fact starting with news that's coming in from the state of tamil nadu where the dnk has released its election manifesto for the lok sabha polls uh, mp kani moi has released uh, the dnk manifesto uh, so the dnk and the ai adnk both having released uh, well the ai adnk has released candidates list as well and the dnk on the other hand has released uh, its poll manifesto uh, kanimoi saying that it will contest on uh, the party will contest on 40 seats in the state so kanimoi are uh, releasing the party manifesto uh, in tamil nadu in chennai uh, big your pardon and this uh, note in the backdrop of the bjp having stitched uh, an alliance with the pmk party uh, so tracking all those election updates from the state of tamil nadu as well the dnk releasing its manifesto for the lok sabha polls and we will just go across to our reporters on the ground as well but note uh, the ai adnk just a short while ago also released its first list of 16 candidates for the lok sabha polls uh, the dnk on the other hand has released its uh, poll manifesto uh we will just try and get more details on what this uh, manifesto entails but uh, the dmk and the congress note uh, have already finalized on the seat sharing deal uh, the bjp on tuesday that is on yes that is yesterday uh, also finalized its alliance with the pmk in the state for the lok sabha polls so while the dmk and the congress uh, have finalized the seat sharing deal the bjp has also finalized its pact with the patali makal kachi the pmk has been allotted 10 lok sabha seats in tamil nadu by the bjp so a tough contest in the state of tamil nadu where the dmk and the congress will be contesting together the bjp meanwhile has tied up with the pmk and uh, the ai adnk on the other, other hand has also released its candidates list for the lok sabha polls Right, moving on to more election related updates updates uh, we are tracking uh, this one from the state of Rajasthan uh, Maharashtra beg your pardon where Raj Thakre held a meet with Amit Shah in the national capital amid buzz over tie up on three seats uh, according to sources the MNS is keen on contesting on three seats with the BJP out of which one is uh, southern mumbai seat so is there a MNS BJP tie up on the cards here's a detailed report Ahead of the 2024 elections there is massive churn in Maharashtra politics To meet the target of over 400 seats the Safran party is leaving no stone unturned to bolster the National Democratic Alliance Maharashtra Navnirman Sena founder Raj Thakre's meeting with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Delhi has set off speculations about the BJP getting a new ally in Maharashtra. BJP National General Secretary Vinod Tawde was also present during the huddle. Although both parties have remained tight-lipped about a possible pre-poll alliance, Sources say the MNS is seeking 3 Lok Sabha seats in Maharashtra which are South Mumbai, Shirdi and Nashik. Bada Nandgaukar uh, he has just met Raj Thakre at his residence in Shivaji Park uh, after uh, Amit Shah's uh, meeting. Uh, Raj Thakre met Bada Nandgaukar. Bada Nandgaukar is someone who is uh, uh, said to be that he may uh, 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 be someone who can be fielded from South Mumbai seat. although there is no clarity no confirmation over uh, you know or no declaration over uh, whether uh, bala nangaukar will be fielded from south mumbai seat because uh, 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 so far there hasn't been any you know uh, 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 discussion of, uh, or any hints have been given by bharatiya janata party whether raj thakre's party will be given a uh, seat from uh, south 